Hi there, this is Yvonne Chaka Chaka and this is Zim Link. Stay tuned. Once again, it's Thursday, the 2nd of October. We're live here at the House of Lords on this very, very special day, interviewing role models, making a difference at a fabulous conference for women, inspiring women within our community. And today we've, I'm here with another profound icon. She is the former mayor of Enfield, Mrs. Kate Anolu, presently the founder of African Women Forum. Welcome to Africa for You in conjunction with Zemlink. How are you today, madam? Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm very well. Thank you so much. And I'm sure our listeners around the world would like to know a bit about yourself, your background, and what brings you here to this special conference today and what your expectations are. Um, can I start to say that my background is a very, very strange and very strong background, especially for a woman. But before I can say anything, I really have to mention my dad, who is my role model, who actually made me to be here today. Because uh, I'm one of seven. I've got five brothers and one sister. And my father, still in those days in the 50s, believed in gender equality and said, I must go to school. In as much as he was dissuaded by his friends, said, why are you sending a woman to school? Because she's going to get married, and you've got five boys to train. But my father, being what my father is, and believing in gender equality, said, I believe in treating both of them the same, because if she goes to school, she will be very useful at her husband's. And even if her husband doesn't want her to work, she will be able to train her children do their homework, and that means she's going to educate for the children, and this is why she must go to school. So my father believed in gender equality, and I'm very, very grateful to him, and I'll never forget him whenever I speak. So on that basis, it's like uh, if he could see what the future foretold, because even when I got married, after doing my midway free, when my husband, when I got married, he said to my husband, I haven't finished training her, she needs to go further. My husband said, anything, I would allow her. So when I joined my husband in England here, my father wanted me to be a nurse, and he has no problem at all. And because I've had the basic education, which was through my father, I was able to pass all the exams that I had here without, you know, without having you know, education in England. So I had a good basic education back in Nigeria. Fantastic. Now today you're the founder of the Afri African Forum for Women and I'm sure our listeners around the world, especially our inspirational women in the black community, would know more, want to know more about this initiative. The initiative, Forum for African Women in Politics, is extremely dear to me. Reason is because I, I don't think I was meant to be a politician, but something made me to be one. As a midwife, this is my profession. I've delivered many, many babies. I've had over 35 years in midwifery, delivering babies, and I've delivered hundreds of babies. And within this time, every time women are asking me questions about health, about housing, their environment, social welfare, and every time I notice that whenever I'm going to ask, find a question or the answer for them, I usually go to the local authority. And the people I'm speaking to are just as simple person as I am. So I ask myself, have these people got two heads? And I thought, no. If they can do it, I can do it. So I started making an inquiry. And I soon realized that if you want to be in politics, you have to belong to a party. And for me to do that, you have, I had to look at all the parties in England and say, which is the one that has the value that is very dear to me? Hence, I decided that the Labour Party has the value very dear to me. They give equal opportunity to both gender and they believe in looking after the ethnic minority. So I became quite active, and I was still working full time, and I've got four children, and I was very unlucky, probably is the timely, you know, whenever, when we are in this world, we've got time, we've got things to uh, do. So maybe my husband has really done what he's supposed to do in this world. So I, I was widowed when my youngest one was only 18 months old. So I've got four of them to look after, but I still maintain my full time education and my full time uh, midway free practice and when my younger one was eight years old I decided this is what I want to do for myself and I started I went into law and I studied law part-time for good five years still maintaining full-time education still looking after the four children and when I achieved that and got my degree 
That's when I said, now I'm ready for that politics. So with all the background I had, you know, in my midwifery practice in the community, I knew exactly what, why I was going in there. Fantastic. Now, today is a very, very important day. It's an inspirational day for women, the Conference of African Women in the Diaspora, with Yvonne Chaka Chaka, a profound music artist all the way from South Africa. Very briefly, what does a day mean like this to you, an African woman in the diaspora? A day like this is very special to me. I was very fortunate to be at the meet and greet Yvonne last night, and I listened to her sing, and I listened to her talk, and I believe that every single woman, not only African women, every single woman is a leader. And being a leader means that you have, you have your family to bring up, and those families that you are bringing up, they are the future generation. And if, if he says that you can do it, a woman can do it, a man can do it, I believe that a woman can do it equally twice. Because looking at the whole world, I can say that when you educate one woman, you're educating the whole world. That means today is a very special day for people to listen and realize that a woman can achieve, a woman can rule, a woman can do anything that a man can do, but it takes two to tango. Both of the men have to realize that women have got the mentality, the equality, and the know-how of being able to help and to make sure that we get a better economy and raise up important future citizens. These are the children that we, are, we have in this world. Keep me posted of all the great work you're doing in the community. It's so nice to meet you finally in person. Take care of yourself. God bless. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy the conference. Thank you very much, Tony. I think the conference is going to be extremely, extremely, very, not only just educating, but it's also going to show people, women, other women, that they can aspire, they can do it. Because uh, sometimes people always say, I can't do it. There is never a word like, I can't. You can do it. And my word is always says that even when Obama said he can do it, I've already said years ago that I believe that I can do it. And if I can do it, you can all do it. Mm -hmm.